The thoughts of your hearts be very careful. The Bible says, Those thoughts of your hearts determines the course of your life, how your life is gonna be. Shout of God, I tell you, the thoughts of your hearts can cripple you for life. The thoughts you entertain in your life can make you passive inactive all through your life can make you an imbecile if you are not careful about what goes in and goes out of your heart and mind you are gone it will determine your success or your failure it will determine it determines your happiness and the sadness the thoughts you allow to torment you the thoughts that entertain in your heart will either make you to be sorrowful or happy. So you be very careful. Nothing can ever make you to be happy or sad except with your permission. Not everything that you are going to allow in your heart. Because in your heart is the engine house of your life. If you allow negative, evil and pessimistic thoughts to enter your life, you are doomed. But if you allow positive thoughts, good things to pervade your mind and your heart. You see, you will always be victorious in every affair of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The thoughts of your heart or your mind determine how your entire life will be. Thoughts, it serves as a murder, builder, or destroyer in your life. Every action of man is always preceded by his thoughts and thinking. Your thought is the seed that gives birth or produces the fruit that is called action. Nothing can make you to be happy or sad except with your permission. And that your permission is the thought that you entertain or allow to direct your happiness or sadness. Now, Matthew 15 says, Matthew 15, 19. From the heart, evil thoughts, murder, Adultery, all sexual immorality, theft, theft, lying, and slander. From the heart comes evil thoughts. From your heart, from our heart comes evil thoughts of murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, lying, and slander. When you talk about murder, Genesis chapter 4, Cain and Abel. When they grew up, Abel became a shepherd while Cain cultivated the ground. Cultivated the ground. When it was time for harvest, Cain presented some of his crops as gifts to the Lord. Abel also brought a gift, the best of the firstborn lamb from his flock. The Lord accepted Abel's gifts, but did not accept that of Cain and his gifts. This made Cain very angry, and he looked dejected. And God asked him, why are you angry? The Lord asked Cain, 
Why do you look dejected? You will be accepted if you do what is right. But if you refuse to do what is right, then watch out. Look at it. Say, watch out. Sin is crushing at the door. What is going on in your mind and your heart will lead you to do. God warned you. Say, then watch out. Sin is crushing at your door. It got to control you. Sin begins in the mind and in the heart. He says, sin is crushing at the door. That's why the Bible said, guard your heart. All the beginning of journey, Bido, no sinful action is committed without, first of all, conceiving it in your mind. You must conceive theft, stealing, sexual immorality, murder, and what it must go into your mind. And when you begin to entertain those things, it will lead to action. But when they go out of your mind, nothing like that will happen. That is why the Bible said, be guided. Do not allow every kind of thought to pervade your mind and your heart. He said, but you must subdue it. Yeah. And be, be its master. If not, trouble is coming. Then one day, Cain suggested to his brother. Before suggesting to his brother, something has started happening in the heart. Suggested to his brother, let us go out into the field. By then, Cain was already loaded with so many evil thoughts. The Bible said, Psalm 36, from verse 1, Sin speaks to the sinner in the depth of his heart. Even when he's sleeping, he's thinking about evil. Beloved brothers and sisters, be very careful about the thoughts of your heart. Those things will either destroy you or build you. The good ones will lead to happiness. The bad ones will lead to destruction. Control your thoughts. Mind your thoughts. If you cannot control your thoughts, you cannot control your actions. If you cannot mind your way, your thoughts, you cannot mind your actions. You see? Let us go out into the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother, Abel, and killed him. The Bible said, Evil thoughts of murder. He started in the mind, in the heart. Or see, Chileke Nara, Jaman Nemonar Honke, one Nepunke, and therefore I will get rid of him. If he had controlled his thoughts, such murder will not occur. Child of God, your thoughts, the thoughts of your house, is the engine house of your life. The Bible said, Be careful. Egan Amata will no be. You know, human heart is just like an open space. An atmosphere, it will get a open look. We see there. No, no, yeah. Fair person, no, we see a no, we see a one. Open no, we see a we marry a no, no, I know a man here. Man, we marry a who is well known in the world. In the same way, when an evil thoughts, evil thinking, evil desires, whenever they enter your heart and your mind, shift them away. Do not entertain them. Do not allow them to stay up. Once you allow them to stay, they will take charge of your action. You can never act otherwise. You act according to your thinking. Your thinking controls your action. Second Samuel chapter 11. They destroyed the Ammonites from verse 1 and 2. And laid siege to the city of Rahab. However, David stayed behind in Jerusalem. Late one afternoon, after his midday rest, David got up out of bed, was walking on the roof of the place, and he looked over the city, and he noticed a woman of unusual beauty. What you see with your eyes determines the thought of your mind, and the thought of your mind will lead to the actions of your life. That's what's the time. 
Definitely, you are going to use your eyes to see. But the aftermath is another thing altogether. When you look at something that is evil, be very careful to remove those evil sight of vision in your mind so that it will not control your life. No action can take place without ever being conceived in the mind. What you see, what you look at, determines the thoughts of your life, the thoughts of your mind, and will determine eventually your action, either good or bad. You see, he got up from the bed, was walking, and he looked over the city, he noticed a woman of unusual beauty taking her bath. He sent someone to find out who she is. You cannot conquer sin unless you conquer the thoughts of your mind. You can never conquer evil deeds unless you conquer the thoughts. Then the devil sent messengers to get her. And when she came to the place, he slept with her. Bawazi, Echiche, Akwara, na Dogarizi. I repeat again, child of God, the thoughts of your heart can paralyze you for life. The thoughts of your heart can destroy every vision of your life. No wonder the Bible said, Isaiah chapter 43, from verse 17, 18, 19, down, you say, forget about the past. Stop thinking about the past. Then we reach Madam Munahum Mado. Over Sam and Madam, when you want to find out when you see them, Madam Poor. For him or her, maybe the person is the breadwinner of the family, taking care of the family and all whatnot. That stupid voice we tell him, it is over. Before I just go and wall, I need your force. And therefore, what can we do? The thoughts of your heart will begin to destroy you. When you met tragedy on the way, Galatians 5 from verse 16 downward, the Bible says there are two forces that are fighting in some world. There are two forces that are fighting in you. And each one that conquers, your action will follow it. Maybe that was your only hope then. Have you forgotten the Bible said, I'm going to make a way where there is no way? Everything is gone. You are being crippled by the thoughts that you entertain your life. But when you begin to reassure yourself, when one door closes, another door opens. And you will realize God is there for you. Everything will work out to good for those who believe. Child of God, what I'm saying this afternoon, the Bible said, guard the content of your hearts. Be very careful about what you think in your heart. When David heard that Uriah had not gone home, when Uriah for not to give him a word, David, continue to not hear, not to go. Now, I'm going to charge you. And another thought came. Ah, King of Israel. It's what I'm going to Ha! He can't get money, he's real fear. Oh, God, look up. Child of God, if you are not careful, it will be the people who are not going to go out of the way. I got you. You know, you just, oh, God, I'll say it. Oh, see, you're not going to go out of the way. You are being controlled by the thoughts of your. Oh, see, oh, God, I'm going to go out of the way. I said, Can you give me? I didn't want to give me. What do you have on a share coaching? Jay met a baby person. Can we have him as you know? Unfortunately, not for him. You are coaching. See, I cannot go home. My brothers are over there in the field of fighting. I don't want me to go and make merriment with my wife. But what if I'm a beauty, I'm a name on Katana again. We coaching. And then the 
That's what shall I do? Write a letter now. Eh? Write a letter. By then, David was at the mercy of his thoughts. Your joy and your happiness and your sorrow depends on the type of thoughts that you entertain. Now David wrote a letter and gets a job. See because he was here. Do be a little yaga. Babo nana. He hot on me. He push here. He ain't in a citizen. He know I hold a pretty money. Since David committed adultery, no rest. The thought was tormenting him. And that is why most often, after going for confession, he looked at one Gmail. He went to say, No, he had me look at that. I know he had me look at the last two years. He said, Let's go about the girl. He went to Fast Week to go to Gossip, a papa and dad. Okay, he had him. I'm not a big one. He went to his UAT application office, he went to he went to he was in a PJ, oh yeah, amen. And every day, he got a new bar, and I go, oh yeah, man, he made a better look at the last five years ago. He been major like a bar, and I'm all true. What about the king 20 years ago? But the sin you committed 20 years ago is still holding you to a ransom and bondage, it's still making you a slave. Because you are allowed to do those things. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19, it says, God is Christ is in God, reconciling us with Himself and no longer counting our sins against us. Why do you allow the thoughts of your lives to make you a slave? And David committed murder from adultery to murder because he was controlled and tortured by the thoughts of the sin he had committed. Child of God, your thoughts can cripple you for life. Your thoughts can make you slaves for life. Your thoughts can destroy all your vision. Rise up! Never be a slave to your thoughts. The Bible says, forget about what you have done and have forgiven you. Sin no more. Don't allow the past to hold your future to ransom. Don't allow the past mistake to destroy your future career. Don't allow the sin of the past to block the blessing of the present and the future. Very powerful thoughts. The Bible says, regard it. Remove them. They are not good for you. Joy we go. Happiness we go because you became a slave to your thoughts. The Bible says, Who has never seen in this world? Nobody. Everybody. The Bible says, We have seen and fallen short of the grace of God. Now, the enemy, the devil, we put it inside you to go and commit a particular sin. He may say, Eventually, I say, God will never forgive you. Look at Judas is God. Oh, you go, man. What is God to forgive you? Nothing is forgive to forgive yourself. So many of you have not forgiven yourself because of your mistake. Who has ever, who in this world has not made mistake? Nobody. Is there anybody who is in Christ is a new creature? The old has passed. Should I see at when that committed suicide? Why do you want to kill yourself because of the mistake you made in the past? Your thoughts is holding you to ransom. It's destroying you. And it makes you inactive. And the enemy will use it as a weapon against you. Draw me nearer, nearer to the Lord. I say, draw me closer, closer to the Lord. Draw 